What's going on? And what is this place? What? I wouldn't let somebody destroy my home. And what am I supposed to do now? Whoa, this place has been totally destroyed. I don't know. He says it's my home, but I've no memory of this place. But it does look like something terrible happened. This place gives me weird vibes, but it is beautiful. I think until I get my memory back, I'm just going to lay low for a little while. Maybe it is a good idea if I settle down here. And if someone's recently attacked, surely that means they're not coming back, right? And maybe I do owe this guy something. He's clearly looked after me and nursed me back to health. Okay, the sun's going to start going down soon, so I best get some survival gear. I'm going to start by punching this tree and grab ourselves a crafting table. Not going to get far without one of those. And make some basic wooden tools. I think I'll just start with a pickaxe. Ooh, that looks scary, but I do see some stone. And our first stone of the world. You do love to see it. Okay, time to get some upgrades. We don't really know what dangers are lurking around here either, so let's get geared up. Now, I do love birch wood, but I don't think I want to build a house out of it. So what we'll do is we'll grab some essentials and then I think we'll explore the area, see what other biomes we can find. We also don't want to stray too far from the camp. This is a totally new area and I'm scared to get lost. We also want to make sure we don't get caught in the wilderness without any food. It does look like there's some remnants of an old farming area here. Maybe we can get this patched up and running again. Couldn't find many seeds, but we did get one, so it's better than nothing. And we've even got a friendly bee here, so maybe he'll help pollinate this area. Okay, there you go. Better than nothing. I think for the time being, we're better off just hunting some animals. Whoa, we do not want to go down there. Oh, is that a lush cave? That's a lush cave. Maybe we do want to go down there. Not yet, though. I don't think we're ready for that. But on the plus side, we did find some coal. I'll take it. That'll get our food cooked nicely. We are getting low on hunger too. I really need to stop jumping around so much. And we've just run out. Okay. Made a little survival area by the village. He's going to sleep. Let's get some food in the oven and head to bed. Sorry, sir. He'll have to move. Well, this is awkward. It's a brand new day. We've got the food cooking. Looks like it's done. I'm going to maybe chuck some birch logs in here too. Get some charcoal on the go. This guy keeps looking at me funny. Oh, there we go. He's gone. Nope, he's back. What do you want? Do you want a steak? You're not getting a steak. You can have a, you can have a raw pork chop. No, nope, all right. I'll have it back. I'm going to bring this furnace with me. And I think we'll head this way. I do want to build a house here. Haven't quite picked a spot yet, but I know I don't want to build the whole thing out of birch wood. So let's head this direction. Hopefully find some spruce wood and maybe some dark oak as well. That would be nice. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's not spruce, but we've got a few oak trees around here, which we didn't have to walk too far. The village is only over there. So let me grab these while we're here and we'll keep looking for some spruce. Can we maybe grab one sapling? If I can get one sapling, I'll be happy. Oh, I see one. There we go. Unlimited awkward achieved. Not bad. Okay, now if we can maybe just find some spruce. Um, I'm going to go this way for a little while. So I've just come out the forest from over there and over this hill looks like a giant spruce tree, right? Oh, a horse. Okay, we'll get a saddle and maybe come back for you. If I can remember where you are. Yep. Okay, looks like we made it. I don't care too much about bringing loads of wood back right now. So I'm just going to try and get some saplings and call it a day. Nice. Looks like this one dropped a few. Okay, next on the list is a dark oak wood. Oh man, we've got really lucky with this world. We've got so many good biomes within such a short distance. Okay, same again. Grabbing some saplings, then getting out of here. I'm always scared of creepers popping up in these things. Oh, there's some extra stakes though. These trees are huge. I think I'm just going to get on top of one and hit the leaves instead. I don't really want to be hanging around in the dark down here. Then we can just grow them back at the village. Okay, this should do. I do want eight of these at least. Dark oak trees have always been a bit notorious for not giving many saplings. Oh, and that's eight. Oh, and nine. Okay, great. Let's head home. Which is that way? Maybe. Okay, this is looking about right. I think it's just over this hill. Yep, there we go. Okay, it looks like we've still got a bit of a food shortage, but I'm sure that'll grow with us in the area some more. That guy's climbing a... Okay, yep, yep, okay. I'd like to get these saplings planted so we can start collecting loads of wood for our new home. And I think I'm just going to put them... I'm going to put them here. I'd also like to make a chest just so we can dump all of our new belongings in. There we go. We can organise it later. I will definitely 100% organise it later. Excuse me. Oh. This is awkward. 
Transforming this village is not going to be an easy task. I think we'll just have to tackle one building at a time. I do want to pick a nice spot for my home though, and I think this part at the top will give us a nice look onto the rest of the village once it's all built up. Yeah, let's start by cleaning this area up. I'm just going to tear down the old building and start completely from scratch. You know what? This place is looking better already. Just going to clean the floor up here too. Although we don't have any stone, so cobble will just have to do for now. I think I'm actually going to have to pull this whole area forward. Maybe that's a good cue for our first mining trip. I did see a big cave opening over there as well. Let me grab some essentials and I'll be on my way. I want to make a bunch of charcoal first, just for our torches. We're getting there. Okay, we've got 15 bits of charcoal. I'm just going to turn them all into torches. We've got nearly a full stack now. I'm sure we'll find some coal when we're down there too. Okay, I would say we are ready to go. I'm going to head this way, see if we can find that cave entrance again. Okay, here we are. I wonder, is there a safe way down? What about that? That looks better. Okay, careful. Careful. Oh, that's a big drop. Okay, I can see some coal. I'm really here for some iron. If we can get some iron, I'll be happy. Okay, there really doesn't seem like a safe way down here, so I think I'm just going to have to dig until we get closer to the bottom. Oh, this makes me nervous. Okay, we're getting closer. I would feel a lot better if we had a shield right now. Ooh. Oh! Oh, we've got a spawner. Little bit dangerous, though. Maybe not. Okay, I'm just going to rush it. Ugh, zombies. Okay, let's get this place lit up properly. I think, I think we're safe. Make sure no creepers sneak up on us. Oh, iron, nice. That's what we want, that's what we want. Oh no! Go away. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, one piece, really? Okay, I'll take it. It's a shovel. Right, let's see what we got. Oh, no way. And <laughs> we got a mending book. Bruh. Bruh. Hit a string, gunpowder. Wheat, okay. Nice. You know what? Time's tough. We're still in the early game. I'm going to take these chests. Okay, well, that went a lot better than I expected. But we still need iron. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Oh, man, this thing's waiting down there for us. I don't know about that. I really don't. Oh, hello. Oh, this is... Oh, this is perfect. Iron. Iron. More iron. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, he's got a friend. Yeah, maybe sometimes it's easier to just let these guys blow themselves up, you know? Easy. Easy. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Okay, I think we're good. I keep thinking I hear noises. Oh, wow. This just keeps going. Okay, brilliant. Let's go. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. That was... Yeah. That went a lot better than I expected. Okay, I'll take it. Didn't get the call. We... Oh, never mind. Ah, fresh air. There we are. Um, I think the village is this way. Here we are. Home kind of sweet... Oh! Hey, I knew you could do it. I always believed in that little bit of wheat. All right, let's get these down. There we go. We've got a farm. Pop you in there. Pop you in there. Oh, we do need some more charcoal. Okay, we only got one bit of coal that entire trip. I did also forget that one of the reasons we went down into the cave was to get some more stone for this thing. So I'm just going to go dig a little hole somewhere and get what I need. Here we go. This will do. Oh, and iron. Nice. Okay, I got a bunch of stone, and we also got 40 bits of, well, 41 bits of iron. So I should be able to make some decent tools with that now. I think I'm just going to start with two axes, as right now all we need is wood. Okay, let's get chopping. Wow, I'm at the top of this spruce tree right now, and this forest really is stunning. I think soon I'm going to have to start asking that villager some questions. 
Well, that took a long time, and I burned through a lot of iron, but... We do have a lot of wood now, which is great. And I got some stone too. So I would say that's most of the house material sorted. Although I do want to include a lot of granite and brick. So I think we are going to have to head back to that lush cave to get a bunch of clay. And just to be safe, I'm going to craft some iron armor. There we go. Perfect. And we did have one more piece of iron left over, which I've decided to use on something that we should have crafted quite a long time ago. There we go. Now we're ready. Okay, here we go again. Ow. Oh, we're ready this time. Come on. Too easy. Oh, and we got our first ball. Nice. Okay, there are a lot of mobs down here, but I think as long as we keep our distance, we've got this. Kind of safe. Let's start grabbing the clear. Okay, I think I can see something shining in the water over there. I'm pretty sure that's our first diamond. Let me grab this iron real quick. We'll smelt it down, make a pickaxe, and then go fish it out. Lovely. First iron pick. Let's go get this diamond. There it is. Lovely. Oh, look at the particles glistening on that thing too. Okay, let's try not to drown. That'd be nice. <gasps> oh, there's more than one. Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay, that was too scary. Okay, round two. Get out. I did not expect to get any diamonds. Let's get back to digging all this clay up. There's lots to get through. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get across this thing, because I do... I would actually love some calcite. That would be great. This is perfect. I did have something in mind for the house that I wanted to use with calcite. So I'm super glad we found this. That was a really successful trip, but I think it's time to head out now. I don't want to push my luck. And once again, we're back in the village. Feels good to be home. Kind of. Not really home, but you know, it'll do. So I've got the clay cooking away, and I think now would be a great time to start changing our little area over here, ready for a house. I'm just going to get rid of these messy parts and just bring the whole thing forward. It doesn't have to go too far, but just a little bit longer to fit a house on. I want to try and preserve the natural area as much as we can, but a few of these trees are going to have to go. Okay, there we go. We've got a nice natural slope going up here, and I don't think this looks out of place. This looks like it's still part of the environment. And how are we doing on those bricks? Okay, okay. We've got a decent amount here. And then, I believe, is it just... Yes, there we go. Okay, lovely, lovely. We'll let that keep burning. We do have some more clay in the chest too, so it should be good. I'm going to bring some chests over near the area. Uh, just so we can plop them in here and fill it with building resources. Okay, let's move all the wood over first. Okay, chest looking decent so far. But what I do need is some white wool. So, tell you what. Let's make some shears real quick. And let's go find some sheep. I did find one close to camp. But he keeps running around, so what I'm going to do is just pen him in until we can get a proper farm going. Nope. Oh, no. Uh, it's a little bit scuffed, but it works. I should have made more fences. Okay, we can just hold this guy here for a little bit. I don't even need too much wool, but it'll be nice to keep coming back to check on him. Okay, so I've got the area prepped. We've got more than enough junk in here. I think it's time to get started on this thing. What I want to do is mark out the initial floor plan. And then we can start building from there. So let's just say... One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one there. And then let's go along by... Let's go along by five. One, two, three, four, five. Place another one there. And then just to be sure we've counted this properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another one. Okay, yeah. I think that's going to work nice. Now, I don't want this thing to be huge, so I'm going to go up by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that'll be a good size. Let's go with that. I just want to get a nice look at the ship from here. I think that's going to be the perfect size. I'm going to outline a roof next and see what we get. I did bring some moss early for scaffolding too. This thing's so quick to break. Okay, so this is why I wanted the dark oak. So if we... I'm going to start by doing that. Then, let's put a temporary block there. And a block there. The temporary block. And up by two. Temporary block. Up by two. Temporary block. I need to be really careful not to fall off this either. Okay, let me double check the height on that thing now. 
Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. And just getting the other side in here so it matches up at the top. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, the next step is to bring the roof along and repeat that shape on the other side. Okay, there we go. We've got a nice shape on there. I do think that tree at the back is probably going to have to go. I'll save that till last though, because I do like nature kind of wrapping around this whole thing. I think that would suit the area. Okay, I want to outline the next part of the build. Now, the reason I grabbed the calcite and the wool earlier was because I wanted to add a tower onto this thing. So I'm going to bring something around like this, and I think that will sit nicely in the build. Let's just build this up and see what it looks like. And let's plop a torch in there before something spawns. I'm not sure how high I want to take this, but I would say this is probably high enough because we're going to have like a tower roof on this thing too, which will protrude quite far into the sky. And we don't want that looking too large next to our main roof. Yeah, we can always raise this. We can always make it higher if we need to. I want to add some interest to the front porch area. So I'm going to mark something out here like this and we'll have steps raising up to get into the house. We may need to adjust the front here, but we can make it work. I think it might be nice to actually get some spruce wood in here too. Let's swap that out there. And we will strip them. I find the stripped spruce and the oak wood goes really nice together. There you go, something like that. Now we can get rid of this. And we may want to change the stairs up later, but for now, I believe that will do. Now I've grabbed some oak wood and come back onto the roof. I would just like to go along the trim here and fill it all in. What I'm going to do first is fill everything in with oak planks and come back along with stripped oak for some detail. I've actually decided to bring the dark oak trim along the top and just contain the oak wood beneath it. I think that looks quite nice. And then what we can do is knock little blocks out here and add stripped wood for detail. I think that's a nice touch. And again, let's just repeat that on the other side here. And now that we've got the roof in, I think it gives us a lot more perspective on this tower, which clearly needs to be higher. I think I would feel more comfortable just bringing it up to the next point of the roof here like that. Yeah, I think that'd be a much better height. I think the tower sits in with the roof a little bit weirdly here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this and just go along with stairs instead. And that just gives us a little bit more room. So we could even consider putting maybe a window here like that. For the roof of this tower, I just want to make a nice little trim, starting with some stairs on the outside of the corners like this. And then using trap doors on the top and the side there and following it up with a block. And then I'm just going to repeat that on the other sides. So we've got trapdoor, trapdoor, trapdoor block. And I'll do it on this side too, so it looks even. And then I would say I want to bring the next part up like this. Maybe another block. We'll go up by two. Okay, looks good. Then maybe one, two, one, two. And then one, two, three. And then at the top here, we've got a wall, we've got a fence, so we've got a chain. Then what we can do is surround the top part with walls like that and then for some extra detail we can do similar to what we've done here we can just add some strip logs in there maybe one there oh yes okay that looks good i'm happy with that i think now is probably a good time to move on to the interior or at least the walls of the house i would like all of the walls to be made of granite and brick i think what i want to do is bring it along the sides here like this which will give us this little indent but we'll carry it all the way around on the back and then along here again so we've got another indent like that and then what we can do is just fill it all in top to bottom and then we can come back around later on and decorate it with some bricks i think i will actually knock a hole a bit higher up on this one so we can get a gap in for a window and same on this side bring it all the way down all the way across we do need to put something in here for the floor and i'm thinking to just use some spruce planks i think it gives it a nice cozy feel now that we've got the walls in, we can go back round, start taking out little random holes and filling it in with brick. And this should give us a nice texture, just like that. Yep, I like the look of that. Let's continue on the back. Whoa. Uh, excuse me, sir. This is my house. You're going to have to leave. If you leave now, I'll let, I'll let you stay on the weekends. Yep. Okay. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Anyway. Let's just knock some holes in the wall here and get some nice big windows in. This is quite a small interior, so I think getting the light in is important. Now let's finish this final wall by getting the granite in. And then I've got something a bit special in mind for the doorway. I'm going to clear a 3x3 space in the middle here for what I've got in mind. And then place trap doors on the inside like this. Clear 
close all them up, get rid of the middle two and replace that with the door. And then we can take some stairs and just round that off nicely, the granite one there. And then for some extra details, how about we put two stairs there and later on we can grab some leaves and plop them on top. I think there's still room to add something interesting up there. I don't want to just put a window, so what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to knock a small hole in here so it's parallel with the window. And then if we put a slab in the middle, surround that by trap doors, we can put a fence there, a fence there, and a fence there. And if I go around the other side, I'll put a little temporary block here for now, and then we can get a door in. I'm not quite sure how else to fill this gap, so I'm just going to put a simple chain there and a lantern. I'm just going to take a few of these leaves off this tree here and just place them on top like that. Add some spruce signs on the side. And I would call the front mostly done. Not quite done. I don't think it would hurt to maybe add a few oak logs in here just for some variety. And then we can wrap these in spruce signs like that. Just for a little bit of extra detail. And same on the other side. Get the oak logs in. Plop the signs on the side. And while we're here, let's just put something on the top of these things. I'm really happy with this so far. But that tower on the side is starting to look a little bit bare. So I've got some wool and I think I'm ready to texture it now. I'm just going to do a similar thing to what I've done with the brick and the granite. Just knock a bunch of random holes out and fill it in with a different block. There we go, just like that. And I did bring some glass panes with me so we can fill the window in here. That really does make the world of difference, but not quite finished yet. I want to add a little bit more detail on the side. And to do that, I'm going to keep it nice and easy. One of them, one of them. And some on the side. The next part I want to do is just bring a bunch of dirt along the side where the indent is. Then trap doors all the way along. And just like that, we've got a nice spot for a flower bed. And while I'm around this side, might as well pop those in. And then one more on the other side. Get the dirt in. Put the trap doors on top. And I think now's probably a good time to grab some flowers to fill those flower beds in. Let's just go with some of these. Get the peonies in. And the corn flowers. Not really what I had in mind, but I'm sure we can go exploring for some new flowers later on. So I would say the exterior is done. Although, I've just had one idea that I could do for the roof. Right, it should be fairly straightforward as long as I don't fall off and kill myself. Do a stair there. A stair there. We can come around the top. Add a slab. And add a trap door there. And that should hopefully give the front a bit more character. Oh yes, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. But now that looks a little bit flat. So I'm going to grab some more slabs and head back up. I just want to do something really simple here and add the slabs like this. Yes, I think that's made the world of difference. I like that. I like that a lot. I really want to get the interior sorted out now. We don't have much space in here, so we've got to be clever with how we use it. I just want to run slabs along the top here, and this can be used to separate the floors. Looks like this overlaps the window a little bit, but I think that's fine. I think we can get away with that. I'm not going to worry about it. And then we can knock a hole in here and take the ladders up like that. Okay, there we go. We've got two floors now. Okay, I've actually changed my mind about this. I am going to worry about it. I'm just going to replace this with granite. Yeah, I think that looks a lot smarter. Now, like I said, we don't have loads of room in here, so we're going to have to be smart with how we use the space. I'm going to be a little bit sneaky and add the chests into the walls here. Okay, so we've got a little miniature storage room here. I mean, it's not great, but it'll do for now. And then I think the best approach for the space here is just going to be using some slabs. And we can we can use these as shelves. And I've just remembered we did find some lapis earlier on in a cave. Let's turn some of this in a blue dye. Then we can make some blue wool. And then we've got some carpet. You know what? That actually looks quite good. And I think underneath here we can just place a, let's say, a stone cutter there in the corner. For the upstairs, I think we're just going to keep it nice and simple. We'll get our bed down, maybe put a few shelves up. We can have one there, pop an azalea bush in it, maybe just put a chest in the corner there. Let's get it lit up. We've got our little storage room coming up the top here as well. And I would say, done. And after all that hard work, I think we can finally go to bed for the first time in our new home. Whoa, this place really is beautiful. Hi, villager. He's ignoring me. 